Well, get them is going to start us off on this live with the three top mistakes that people make with creating an LLC. And then the second thing is, I'm going to be talking about bulletproofing your mindset for business. At the end of the day, entrepreneurship is not for everybody. So I'm here to help you bulletproof your mindset to get in there, get in the game, get started. Okay, guys. And then lastly, we will be talking about how to build your ATM business within one month. Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Welcome to the weekly live inside of ATM Business for Beginners. My name is Paul Alex, founder of ATM Together and ATM Business for Beginners Facebook group, the largest Facebook group on Facebook. Um, I'm here with my co-host, Getem Yonis. What's going on, guys? Happy to be here. Finally getting on live again. I've been begging Paul. Finally, appreciate you letting me get on. <laughs> I, I had to get the man with the plan on here, guys. Because we've been getting a lot of requests regarding issues with people setting up their LLC. Um, at the end of the day, we want to make sure that we get everything established for you guys. That's the whole reason for this group, okay? Uh, we've started this about a little bit over a year ago. It has grown tremendously. As you can see, almost 16,000 members. I think we're going to hit that probably, what? What do you think, get them uh, in February? We should be up uh, there, right? immediately i think we're way close to that <laughs> yeah 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 and then our instagram we just started instagram guys i know right uh at the age of 34 having used social media within six to seven years how long uh was it till you started using social media get them early last year <laughs> yeah basically when i was like hey man you need to hop on you know online with me and and start launching and educating people on the atm business and he was just like man i don't even got social media so <laughs> now you got a bunch of like older millennials on here uh you know doing our thing over here on social media but it's okay guys it's all right we're here um so with that being said if this is your first live go ahead and comment live that's gonna be l-i-v-e guys um, I'm trying something new. I just got these little headphones. So I'm trying to make sure that you guys can hear me out there. Now, if you guys are going to be watching the replay, make sure, this is super important, make sure to type replay. That's going to be R-E-P-L-A-Y, replay. So we know exactly who's watching and who's not. We'll get you guys some free resources. At the end of the day, that's what we do at ATM Business for Beginners, okay? As you can see, hundreds of clients' testimonials, guys. Um, we have a really good show for you guys today. Um, all right, so let's start with what we're actually going to be talking about during the live today, okay? Weekly live training for today, which is what? February 1st, 2022. Can't believe, man, January just flew by. It's crazy, crazy. And by the way, big shout out to the 40 plus aspiring entrepreneurs that signed up with our automation program. You guys get ready, get ready. Because in about a month or so, client success, video testimonials, posts, a lot of happy aspiring entrepreneurs, a lot of people making money with ATM together. So at the end of the day, um, that's what we're doing. We're building generational wealth and we're helping the community uh, actually learn about entrepreneurship. So it's great. All right, so get them is gonna start us off on this live with the three top mistakes that people make with creating an LLC. Okay, guys, super common mistakes, but you're gonna be like, I've been wondering about that and it's going to help you tremendously. Trust me. Okay. And then the second thing is I'm going to be talking about bulletproofing your mindset for business. At the end of the day, entrepreneurship is not for everybody. So I'm here to help you bulletproof your mindset to get in there, get in the game, get started. Okay, guys. And then lastly, we will be talking about how to build your ATM business within one month. Super simple, straight to the point, getting the knowledge from the people that know it to the people that want it. Right. Get sure. them, you're like, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, guys. All right. coffee. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? So get them. Go ahead, get it started, brother. And I'll be back as soon as I uh, get him uh, wraps it up with his uh, part of the life. All right, guys. Later. Cool, guys. So check this out, right? First of all, you need to form an LLC. You have to form one for your business, okay? The reason this is important is because, first of all, you got to structure it. You got to make sure you're protected for anything that happens. What if your ATM falls over, right? And it, it gets on my toe. I want to make sure I'm protected. So first of all, you're going to form that business. When it comes down to it, and I'm, you know, I'm a hands-on learner. I don't know about you guys. When it came down to school back in the day, if the teacher wasn't writing it on the board or showing it to me, I just could not comprehend it. It could be two plus two, but you had to write it out for me. So I have my trusty whiteboard with me. We're going to do this old school and write it out. Okay. Now. There's obviously different types of businesses, right? 
You can do your research on the different types, the benefits of each, but we want our clients to get fast started as fast as possible. And you could literally do this right now, write down notes, right? And just in case, if you guys are actually excited for me to tell you the tips right now that'll keep you starting your business as fast as possible, comment below LLC. I got to get these comments in. There's so many people that need to be reached right now to understand what it is with the ATM business, how to get started as soon as possible. Please comment LLC below. It'll help us out. Our algorithms will get better. More people will be reached and all this valuable content will get out there. Okay. So number one, first of all, you need to know what a business is, right? There's all these different types. We get our clients started faster. So we say get an LLC first, right? It's called a limited liability company or corporation, depending on where you're at. Okay. You form that with your state. We always say ink file. Okay. We actually have different videos in our guide section that cover that. I do a step-by-step -step on how to do that. With that being said, I've been getting a lot of common questions. A lot of clients signed up, worked with us, got their businesses up and running, but the common questions that were coming up. Number one, what is a virtual business address? Okay. I'll actually write this out. Virtual business address. Make sure you guys can actually hear me. So number one issue is people trying to figure out what's a virtual business address, right? So imagine this, right? You have a physical location, right? Traditionally, there'd be, say, an office space, right? And that's where the business would be. Imagine like your bank or any physical place you go to, right? Like an actual office space before it was work from home, right? That's where usually you would have formed your business, but you guys are mobile. ATMs and the business were actually the original work from homes because you didn't need an actual office space, right? Why? Your ATMs are located at all these different businesses. So you have a conundrum. Where do you place your ATM business address? So some people use their home address. Totally fine. That's an option, right? But remember, when anything is registered with the state, it's public record. So if you're okay with your home address being on there, people look it up. That's totally fine. You can do it, take the risk. We haven't had any issues, but I recommend for people to have a virtual business address, right? What I mean by that is it's not an actual physical office space, it's virtual. So think of this, that traditional office space you would have worked at for your nine to five, right? Before you actually started your ATM business, scaled and had it replace your nine to five, that place, you know, the one I'm talking about. With that, imagine somebody came up across it and said, hey, I'm actually gonna have this physical address but I'm gonna break it up into all these different chunks, right? So I'm gonna say, hey, one, two, three Main Street, that's my office space. However, I'm gonna rent it out to all these people that need an address for their business. They don't need to physically be here, they just need somewhere for their mail to come, for it to actually be a physical location. So I'm gonna say one, two, three Main Street, number one, one, two, three Main Street, number two, one, two, three Main Street, number 6,046. So you start realizing how it becomes much more efficient. So now you have say 6,000, 7,000, or even 10,000 businesses at the same address. That would be your virtual business address. It's saying to the state that, hey, my business is located here. I may not be there physically, but if there's any business occurring, it's gonna be there. So that's where your business would be registered to, okay? That's what a virtual business address is. Number two, people always ask me, they say, hey, get them. What the heck, and I almost write, get them down. What is a registered agent? Which is a very good question. And with that question, you always get the additional question of, if I have a virtual business address, do I need a registered agent also? So let's answer question number one. Registered agents, right? So for every state, they require a company to have somebody that can receive legal documents right? Imagine a tax bill. Any official documentation needs to be received by somebody. There needs to be some representative, okay? So with that being said, you need a registered agent. That is the person that's registered with the state that can receive such documents. For the most part, it's probably going to be you, but you might decide that you don't want to receive those documents at your home address or wherever you're located. So what you do is you hire an actual registered agent. So Inkfile actually offers one within their site. That's why we always refer you guys to Inkfile just because it's the simplest way. They offer it, I think, for free for a year. Well, you'd have them as your registered agent or whatever company you choose, or even a person, a lawyer, a friend, it doesn't matter, right? They receive documents for your company and then they forward it to you, okay? The benefit of this, you don't have to worry about missing mail. What if that official tax bill comes? 
or some official documentation you need comes to say your mother's address. And I, cause I remember I formed a business back in the day, my first business at my parents' house, right? I don't want to risk my mom throwing it out, not knowing, Hey, what the heck is this business LLC that's coming to my address? It must be spam, right? Not knowing that it was a refund for the government for $10,000. Okay. So you want to have an official person receiving these. For the most part, you can be your own registered agent. You just need an address that's going to be on file with the state, which is public record also, for people to send you correspondence to, mail, okay? But if you don't want that and you want to be more private, you already have a virtual business address, then you hire a registered agent, your name's not going to be listed. It's going to say, hey, this is the actual company. This is the actual registered agent. If you need to send a message to the actual company, send it to them, right, to their address. But if you need to send a message to the actual person at the company, it's going to go to the registered agent, which is say Inkbot. Okay. That's what that is. Number three, this is the biggest thing. And right now you guys need to write this down because this is what's going to happen. You're going to start your business and you're literally going to forget what I said, the NICS code. Okay. And you're probably wondering what the heck's an NICS code? What does it matter? Well, Simply put, if you want to be official, because I'm all official with definitions, that's the North American Industry Classification System, which means what, okay? What that means is it's how the federal government and agencies actually classify your business, okay? Now, the NICS code for ATM businesses, all right? You guys ready for me to write it down? It is five, two, two, three, two, zero. I just gave you free information, all right? If you can't see that, oh, I gotta get out of the way of the camera. 522320, that is the code you need to write down when you're forming your business. The reason that is, and it's, it's not a huge deal if you get it wrong, but they need to classify your business. So when you form it with your state, they're gonna ask that. Get your EIN number, ask that. Because you need to know how to actually classify your business. Because if you're forming an ATM business and you say, it's, you know, food services. Well, there may be some questions arise on the back end. What's the likelihood of that happening? Probably pretty low, but when it comes to business, you want to make sure your, your actual documentation is tight. With that being said, Paul, three things, virtual address, registered agent, and ICS code, right? Remember these three things, they're going to come up when you form your business, right? If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me, but if you enjoyed what I said and you want some more tips on your business in the future, all right, I actually have a doozy for you. Type NICS down in the comments below. NICS, all right? Now this is like the spelling bee, right? I'm sure people are going to have some issues like, uh, but does the C go before the S? Yes? Type that below in the future. We'll bring you some more content like this, all right? Back to you, Paul. Yeah, for sure, for sure, man. That's that that was a good lesson right there. Appreciate you, man. I think sure. those top three virtual address, registered agent, and uh the code, man. I'm telling you right now, those are the most common asked questions we get, even when we get clients enrolling into uh ETM together. But um, you covered it. You you definitely covered it. So I'm gonna be tagging a lot of people on this video during the week for, for, sure. Sure, for sure. All right, guys. So if you guys don't know our background. So our background, we are seven figure entrepreneurs, me and myself, I started the ATM business about five years ago, I was able to build my actual ATM business from one to 30 locations while working my nine to five within 18 months, guys, 18 months. So that's about a year and a half. Okay. Um, within a year and a half, I was able to scale because I ended up getting a mentor who basically gave me the blueprint gave me the blueprint, able to network, able to close down quite a few golden goose locations. And at the end of the day, I was able to walk away from my nine to five. Okay. So once I walked away from my nine to five, we created, I brought a, a group of what I would like to call elite entrepreneurs, uh, because one mindset is everything. And I'm going to go into that in just a bit guys, but we were able to build such a great company called etmtogether.com, which launched in January of 2021. Okay. And this is where we help hundreds, literally hundreds of entrepreneurs nationwide build their ETM business by basically automating that. And when I say automation, I'm talking about actually building it for you. I'm talking about finding your location in your city, in your state, wherever you want, and actually providing you with a brand new ATM, the training, the tools, all that jazz, which I'll be getting into later, guys.
office. So let's go ahead and get into mindset, guys. Bulletproofing your mindset for business. I think this is one of the biggest things that I had to go through as an entrepreneur, currently 34 years old, been an entrepreneur since the age of 18, guys. Ever, uh, ever since I was a nightclub promoter at the age of 18 to I think 22, okay? Always had that entrepreneurship mindset, going to school, um, started my first part-time job. It was always in me. And I'm pretty sure there are dozens, if not everybody who has that serious entrepreneurship spirit inside of them, okay? So at the end of the day, if you are currently working your nine to five, you're trying to get out of your nine to five, or you're trying to start a business, or you're currently working in a business, this is going to be for you, okay? So let's go ahead and talk about this. And remember, guys, information changes the situation. So if you guys are pumped about this section of the live training, go ahead and comment info. That's going to be I-N-F-O, info in the comments. It helps us with the algorithm, guys. Like we said, we offer this free training absolutely free. We're not looking for any handouts. We're not looking uh, to charge you for this. We are absolutely providing you with all this free information and plus hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of live training videos, plus a mini course inside of the ATM Business for Beginners Facebook group. If you don't know where that where that at, guys, ah, can't even talk right now. Comment guide. That's going to be G U I D E. One of my guys or gals, they're going to reach out to you. We'll get some free info for you so you can start your ETM business in 2022. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and talk about our number one. All right. Our number one tip for mindset for 2022 an attitude of gratitude is what you need. Okay. So, with that being said, um, depending on your situation, depending on where you're at right now, even if you have a bad morning, make sure to always have gratitude. I'm going to tell you right now, I was the worst in showing gratitude of what I had, what I have built. At the end of the day, as entrepreneurs, we always want more. We always want more, but you have to realize that you have to have a why. Because I'm going to tell you right now, once you get to a certain point in life where you do get that financial stability that you do want and that you are going to get, I promise you, if you're watching this, okay? It's going to come a time where it's going to be it's going to be bigger it's going to be bigger than just the fine the finances and i'm telling you this from 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 me from my heart and the reason why i say that is because initially that's what pushed me as a 20 year old okay from 18 to i would say about 25 that's that's when the game changed for me that's when i figured out my why. Why do I want to create a business? Why do I want to work for myself? Why don't I want to work for someone else? Why don't I see myself working for someone else ever again? And it's simply because of the freedom. I believe, I'm a true believer that freedom is the new rich, it's the new wealth. If you have the time that you're able to utilize for whatever you want, whether it's your child, whether it's for your wife, whether it's for your family, whether it's to take your family on vacation, I think that is more fulfillment than any Lamborghini, any Ferrari, any penthouse, any uh, jewelry that you may buy, anything materialistic. Trust me, those things get old, guys. Okay. So figure out your why and have gratitude every single day because your situation could always be worse. Okay. Let's go to number two realistic goals. Now, whenever I talk to entrepreneurs and whenever my team talks to entrepreneurs, we have a debriefing. So, a debriefing is a meeting after the end of our business day where we talk about who we spoke with, who our potential clients might be, and at the end of the day, our superstars within our group. So with that being said, guys, you have to make sure that you have realistic goals because whenever we talk to aspiring entrepreneurs or whenever we talk to our clients, we always ask them, what are you trying to do within six months? What are you trying to do within 12 months? What is your two-year plan? What's your three-year plan? What is your plan for this week? Have you guys ever thought of that? If you haven't, I suggest that one, one or two things, okay, guys? And this is what helped me tremendously because I used to be the worst planner. One, get a whiteboard. Keep it in either your bedroom or in your office. Or two, use a journal. OK, old school methods, but I'm old school. That's just the way I roll. Right. Or if you want to use your phone, your notepad or you want to use your laptop, go ahead. But at the end of the day, I truly believe if you plan out every single day, you're going to be able to execute way more than someone that who doesn't plan. 
Okay, let me repeat that one more time. You're going to be able to execute and accomplish your goals and your to do list. Okay, the procrastination, the laziness, all that jazz, that's going to go out the window. I guarantee it because it feels good. Check mark, check mark to do your to do list, to accomplish, to feel like you have goals. Okay. It's just like anyone in the military, anyone that's a first responder, we always had a mission to do. So at the end of the day, if you've never been in that position where you've never had a mission, this is your mission. Your mission is to go ahead and write your goals every single day and crush it. Not for me. Okay. Cause trust me, I'm going to get mine. I got my goal right there in my living room. All right. On the 44th floor watching the, the, the water over in San Diego right now. Okay. And I'm going to get mine, but at the end of the day, I'm talking about you, whoever's watching this right now, I want you to get yours too. Okay. So make sure to uh, write your goals guys. All right. Number three guys. And this is only a five tip list guys. All right. I make this short and sweet, but it's good. Number three, it's a war, not a battle mistakes and the long game. Let's talk about that. Okay. <clears throat> Whenever we make mistakes, what do you do? Do you feel bad for yourself or do you recover and keep going? That goes heavy into mindset, guys. Don't let one little hiccup, don't let one little roadblock deter you from your path, from your goal, okay? Because at the end of the day, entrepreneurship is one of the hardest things you will ever do in your life. Trust me, okay? Now, we help hundreds of clients start their ATM business, even start them out in their very first business. And we have to show them from step one, almost like taking baby steps, almost like uh, riding a tricycle or riding a bicycle with training wheels. At the end of the day, I know how it is. I used to be scared to ask for help. I used to be prideful. I used to have a chip on my shoulder because I thought that I had 15 years of sales experience. Who's gonna show me what? I'm a grown man. At the end of the day, I stay student of the game, okay? So make your mistakes change what's in your reach. Okay. But forgive yourself if you're in a situation that you cannot control. All right. What you can control is what you can control. Okay. And you're going to be able to go ahead and move forth. All right. So stay thinking about the long game. All right. Don't think about the short game. Don't think about instant gratification. No quick money just goes as fast guys. Trust me. OK, this is coming from more than a decade of uh, entrepreneurship, trials and errors, failed businesses, people laughing in my face, uh, family members, friends, everybody just talking behind my back saying, oh, he ain't going to make it. OK, so at the end of the day, if I could do it, you can do it. Number four, adapt to change, pivoting. OK, at the end of the day, I'm going to tell you this right now. I used to be a big believer. We got to have plan A, plan B, plan C, plan D, plan E, plan Z, right? But I'm a big believer if you are optimistic, you have that mindset, that limiting belief mindset. And I'm talking about that belief where you can accomplish it. You already see yourself doing it. Just imagine right now, you watching this, okay? If you believe you want to start your ATM business this year, next month, next week. You can do it. There is no one stopping you. But Paul, what about my fam uh, finances? Trust me, everybody goes through that at different levels. You just have to figure out a way how to be a solution-driven person, okay? Don't complain. Be a solution-driven person. Ask yourself, man, why don't I have money to do this? Or how am I going to get the money? No, this is how I'm going to do it. Let me make a checklist of what I can do to accomplish my goal of going in there and actually starting this business. Realistic goals, guys. Okay. That's how you're going to adapt to change. That's how you're going to adapt your mind to change. That's what I had to go through, through years of entrepreneurship, okay? And trust me, I've gone through my trials and errors. I placed my six ATMs before with only half of them only profiting. The other three made less than $50. I would have to drive two hours to get there. And then at the end of the day, after the installation, you feel all good. You feel all warm inside, right? Imagine 
going in there and pulling those machines out after a couple months, making less money than what you started out with, right? It hits your pride. You're hurt. But at the end of the day, the person who suffers the most is the most successful, okay? This is not BS. This is real, okay? You can do this. And lastly, growth mindset versus fixed mindset. Don't get stuck in the ways of how you think right now. Even myself, I have to change the way I think from the way I thought when I was 21 to the, uh, to the time that I'm in my 30s. If I still thought the same, that means I did not grow, okay? So every single year, I want to learn. I want to learn something to better my way, better my life, better everybody around me. If currently right now you are suffering, I'm not talking about suffering fi financially, I'm talking about suffering mentally. You don't like your situation. You maybe don't like the people around you. Then surround yourself with people that you actually want to be a part of. Surround yourself with high value people. At the end of the day, those high value people, they're going to bring you up. They're going to cheer for you. It's crazy. I saw a post earlier this week about whenever you post anything or not you, but let's say some people, maybe me, it's happened to me, where if I was to post, oh, I'm starting a business or let's say, oh, I'm starting this new career. How many likes are you going to get from people you actually know? Ask yourself that. And then how many likes or how many responses would you get from total strangers? It's the truth. When I saw this post, guys, it, it like touched my heart because I was like, wow, that is real. You know how much love I get from people I've never met? It's insane. But then it could be somebody that I've known for years since my childhood. And I won't even get a message. Oh, 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 you start your little business. Don't you hate that? Don't you hate that when you're pumped, you just started a new business, you're thrilled. I understand that feeling, trust me. And then somebody got to rain on your parade, right? Call it little. No, it's not, it's not a little box. What's up with that little nine to five? That's my response, okay? So at the end of the day, guys, mindset is everything. It's the first thing you have to fix before you start any business. I always tell my clients this, even if you already have money, even if you were to come to us with all the bells and whistles, but your mindset's not right, then this is not the right fit, okay? Because at the end of the day, you have to be prepared to accomplish the mission. You have to be prepared to go through obstacles. Entrepreneurship is not easy. We can help you with the infrastructure and the skill set that you're going to need to get there. But ultimately, we cannot help you here. You have to come up right, okay? And that's something that you have to find within yourself. Trust me, I had to find that within myself through years of trial and error, all right? All right, guys. So if you loved that mindset lesson right there, all right, guys, you want me to do more mindset uh, lessons in the future, I'll be more happy to do it for you guys. Remember, take action, show gratitude, and stay positive, okay? It's 2022. Whatever happened last year, whatever happened in January, let that go, okay? It's the past for a reason. If you had negative people your entire life, let that go. They're in your past for a reason, okay? Move forth. Find new people to surround yourself with. High value people, okay? High value people that are going to bring you up, all right? This is exactly why uh, me and my team, we have built this community to raise people up to show positivity in a world that may not that be that positive, okay? So at the end of the day, I want you guys to succeed, all right? So how you do one thing is how you do everything. At the end of the day, you gotta be relentless. Remember, your obsessions become your possessions, okay? Become obsessed with taking action, guys, all right? All right, guys, so if you like that lesson, we're gonna show you how you can build your ATM business within one month. It's called our ATM Together Automation Service, and I'm gonna go right into it, okay, guys? So if you guys are excited about this, go ahead and comment 
2022. That is 2022 helps us out with the algorithm. I'm going to go ahead and do a share screen. I'm actually going to walk you through a step-by-step -step walkthrough of usually what we walk our clients with. My uh, executive assistant, Hugh, he actually did this earlier uh, within our client group inside of the ETM uh, beginners uh, exclusive client group earlier. Uh, we do a weekly training for them and all that jazz, but I actually want to show you guys what you guys are missing out if you're not a part of this, or if you want to be a part of this and you still want to find more information, I'm actually going to paint the picture right here. All right, guys. So if you guys are pumped, go ahead and comment 2022 while I set this up and then we'll get started in the next minute or so.